Welcome back to Let's Play Dust, I'm Nye, and we have to very quickly go get killed. Nope, seriously, I have to very quickly go get killed. Uh, Dust is going to continually take damage off of his health total until I actually die. Now luckily, there's a really easy way to solve this problem. And that's to run down here and go pick a fight with the Trolk. I did not do that on purpose. That actually happens. Hi, hit me. Oh, come on. Thank you. Did that do it? Are you okay now? Should be fine. I think so. Yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. Yep, and now I'm leaving, because I am not taking that fight. The good news is, it brought me back to full health. But, uh, yeah, I haven't actually seen the game over screen from that event, but from what I understand, it actually, there is a game over involved. Uh, I haven't actually uh, tried it out, though, because... Well, you know what? Why not? Let's go see what happens, guys. This might take a little while, though. Because my health is only going down by, uh, two each. And I have a lot more health than that. We're getting there. Couldn't they give me, like, stronger poison if I just stand around and do nothing? That way we wouldn't have to be just sitting here watching this happen. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Okay, let's see what happens if this actually kills you. Absolutely nothing. Really? Okay. Apparently in tough mode, actually, if your uh, HP is below a certain amount, the um, uh, save points still help, uh, give you HP. Cool. Didn't know that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I never... I also never showed this off. The actual, uh... Electricity that comes off of, uh, Fidget. Hi, hit me. Okay, so, that was that. Did that do it? Hi. Yeah, it's actually not allowing me to skip this, so we'll just do that. So, that's that. So apparently you can't actually lose that. I'll just bring you down to 1 HP and just sit there. Interesting. But we got full health out of it, uh, and I was actually at a very low health even before this quest. So, um, that was actually... Whatever the reward that we get for this is, that was actually worth it in and of itself. Okay, Reed, we're done with your damn box. You were right, Reed. Somehow that killing blow managed to shake the presence free. I'm back to my normal self again. Well, Dust has now experienced what it's like to be dead. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway, I was planning on using this Revival Stone on you if my plan didn't work, but it should still serve as an adequate reward. Why didn't we have a Revival Stone for Bopo's dad? Wait, what do you mean, if your plan didn't work? It's in the past, Dust. Let's move on and not focus on plans that didn't work. Well, it did, didn't it? So now I have no use for this Revival Stone, and you can take it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpot had the common sense not to open it. She did. That's why the way she- that's why she is the way she is. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? trees themselves whisper an ancient song 
Somebody must chop them all down to silence their lies. Oh God, it's a young General Gaius. Who Goodbye, hates trees. Reed. Yep, never have to deal with Reed again. That's over. Okay, we still got a little bit of time left. I'm not. I can't remember how long this takes, but let's go see if we can get Gihan's. Uh... Oh, we got two revival stones. That's actually. That's actually wor a uh, worthwhile uh, reward. I'm really hoping I don't have to use them. I'd like to have them for the final boss of the game. Because uh, revival stones are not cheap. But. Hi, Gihan. Okay, let's go to his farm. I'm pretty sure I have what I need to do this. I think all we needed was slide. Okay, so there's nothing down here. I think all we needed was... Yeah. Honestly, we might not have even needed that. I might have just completely screwed this up. Okay, so here's another one. I might have been thinking about a completely different section. But maybe not. Let's see. At least we're getting some mysterious wall chains for our trouble. Come on. Darn, didn't get that one far enough. Come on down. Come on. Why are the chickens bouncing so far away? Your chicken should not bounce. Okay, do I have... Yes, we do. Okay. You come this way. Come on, this way. I'm not gonna go down there yet. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing up here. Down we go. Okay, well, there's the watch. But we have to actually achieve that. Something, te something tells me this is not going to be easy. Okay, so as you may have guessed, this is a guide the bomb puzzle. Ah, darn it, pulled it too far. Oh, it's actually not as bad as it may appear to be. I know this looks like an absolute pain, but uh, ah, that's because it is. But it's not as bad as it might appear. It's just a matter of getting the uh, getting the timing down for when to pull and when to not. Okay. We want to carefully pull that straight up. I can't remember if this one eventually has a time limit or not. We go, and now we have Keyhan's watch. On, I uh, when I saw the slide portals, slide portals are used uh, usually to hide off a place you're not able to get to right now, a place that they want to, you know, stop you from getting until you get slide. But occasionally they're used for bomb flowers to prevent you from, or to, to as act as a channel to guide a bomb flower through that you yourself should not be able to get through yourself. Uh, so apparently I misunderstood which one this one was. I apologize for that. Let's go talk to Gihan. Hi, got your watch. You found it! Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. How about saving your life? I recall doing that once too. Well, um, we did save your life, remember? So second best thing maybe? Yes. Well, I'm aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Guillen. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. Okay, so he just gave us a bunch of keys. I forget how many he actually gave us, but it should be enough for us to go get the companion uh, down below Aurora Village. Yep. 
Now I have five, I only need four, I think, to open that treasure chest. So we have that. Uh, so when we return next time, guys, still a bit of backtracking. Um, I'm going to be going over to uh, the Glen in order to get a couple items that were there that were hidden by a uh, slide passage. So we're going to do that. Uh, we will see you guys next time. See you soon.